the kidnapped queen comes out a week from the day I'm filming this. If you don't know me, my name is Paris Kaufman and this is my sixth novel, the fifth novel in the world of the Magi. And if you've been around for any period of time, you know I love to match my nails to my book covers on release. And I have a book signing this weekend, so matching to the kidnapped queen, that's pretty much a legal obligation at this point. I have green nail polish for the Magi's cover, which is also a green slash purple, but it's a lighter color overall. And this is more of a darker, deep, I don't quite know the word to describe it. This cover is, it has queen in the name, so it just feels more elegant, if that makes sense. And also Rose is older, more mature, so I want an older, more mature shade of green. I'm, I'm just going off of the vibes of the book itself here, and you're going to have to read so you understand. But I have a couple different trips I need to do in related to that. First, I need to buy new nail polish, but I also need to match my packing supplies to this cover. So let's go. The first stop is going to be the Dollar Tree. I'm looking for just a couple general things that I might decorate my booth with this weekend because I have a book signing, which that video will be out a week from you're watching this one. It's kind of confusing. I've been all over the place, but I am getting potentially some stuff for that. I'm going to, while I'm here, get tissue paper for this. Now they have pretty much light green or dark green, so probably dark green but we'll see we'll see what complements it best and of course nail polish now I, I i always feel like the need to just disclaim this is my book that i'm bringing into the store this is not a book that i'm stealing and not paying for i i wrote this i spent a lot of money to publish it so if um i get into trouble for stealing this book this is my video proof that it's mine I own it and my name's on it so I mean it's, it's mine. This is the only green that they had at the Dollar Tree and I did like the color but it wasn't quite what I wanted so I put it back but I did find this. It was really loud and crowded in there so I didn't get a ton of clips but I got a few things so I'll do a haul when I get home. But for now look at this. Hold on. We got to get this next to the kidnap queen. Here's the kidnap queen. Here's this table runner. Look at that. I'm going to put that over the booth when I go to my book signing this weekend. Hopefully it fits. I actually don't know how big the booth is compared to my little runner. But even if it's just a little placemat type of thing on top, I think that's going to look really pretty. So I'm adding that to my stash of decorations. The rest I'll show you at home. For now, I need to go to CVS because I only found... Sorry, I got distracted in the rear view. I only found a little nail art type of thing that it was in a green I liked. Which it is a pretty green, but I'm going to try to find a deep emerald green at CBS and we'll see how I do. I think we found it. Right here. Let's see. It's called Off Tropic. That's pretty close. Let's see if it's a better light. I think we found one. And this will be perfect for an accent nail. It's the exact color of the little streak. Success! I have all my goodies right there and let's do a haul when I get home. All right, apparently Fritz, apparently Fritz is starting the unpack packing for us. Okay, time for the haul. So I have the kidnapped queen here. I'm gonna put it to the side and I'm gonna do this as coordinated as I can. First, what I got from the Dollar Tree, which you already saw this. It is a little table runner that I'll put for my booth. Put that down. I got some paint brushes and if I can find it, Eyeshadow, this is how I do my eyeliner. I use a very thin paintbrush and I use it like a eyeliner pen. And that's how I do my eyeliner in the morning. So I needed new stuff for that. I got this little whiteboard easel. I'm gonna have a little stand next to my proof copy actually of the Kidnap Queen and it's gonna say coming out next week so that people know it's happening because the book signing happens just a few days before release. I have I, I was tempted by this, just some sticky notes, a little package of them for $1.25. It was a steal. And then what you're all probably waiting for, the real reason I went shopping today was to get nail polish. Put that down. All of it here. And let's see if I can put it next to the kidnap queen in an orderly, neat fashion without dropping them. Here they all are. So obviously I showed you this already. This one is the one that matches the kind of just the background on the cover. This one matches some of the lights on it. And even kind of on the back, actually, I forgot to show you compared to the back. And then this is a very, very fine tip. It is designed, I don't know how well you can see it, to do little stripes or dots or designs. I wish I had the skill to draw a rose on my finger. 
I might, but it would have to be on my left hand because I would not be able to draw it left-handed. But maybe right-handed, we'll see. I'll probably end up going over it again, but we can give it a try. So that is everything I got. I also was shopping for these, but my mom actually ended up having them. Little, oh, they're all tangled together. See if I can untangle. Little stands that fit my thicker books because I bought a bunch of stands before my last book signing and Beldestine was too, too wide for it. I couldn't stand it on it without ripping open the pages a little bit and there was no way I was doing that. So this one's actually thick enough that it would hold Beldestine and the Kidnapped Queen, which is only nine pages shorter. So they're pretty much the same size. They will both fit on that stand. And I am officially all set, prep, buying, purchase, money spending wise. As for the actual prep, I'm filming that video tomorrow and it will be coming out next week. For now, thank you for shopping me. Get excited for the Kidnapped Queen. It comes out a week from today, six days from when you see this. I cannot wait, I'm very excited. The Return of the Magi. I'm just gonna say it, I think this is the best book I've written yet. So, I mean, I'm always gonna say that because it's the one that I'm currently working on and I have the best memory of because I was working on it two days ago, whereas I published The Magi two years ago, but I think it's my best work yet. So get excited. If you wanna pre-order it, the link is in the bio. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Don't forget if you buy all five Magi books, you get free shipping and a free set of all of the Magi goodies I've ever shown you that come with the pre-order packages. So. I, I'm getting out of breath and talking so fast. We have uh, character guides, magic guides, bookmarks, stickers, um, oh, an invitation to Miles and Rose's wedding. So if any of that sounds fun to you, and if you had fun hanging around this chaotic video, and if you are excited for my book signing next week and for the release of this book, give me a subscribe or a follow or whatever you say on here. And whatever time it is, morning, evening, or night, have a great day.